There's an old saying that goes, when spiders' webs aren't spun, the rain won't come. Behind this observation lies a scientific explanation. Spiders' webs are only sticky when the weather is dry. Facts like that come from Professor Chen Shihuang, who has traveled throughout Taiwan cataloging spiders and in the process discovering 55 hitherto unknown species. In the first of a two-part series on Taiwan spiders, we go to the professor's lab to find out more. In Professor Chen Shihuang's laboratory, there are more than 50,000 spider specimens. But where most might hesitate to look, Professor Chen is playful. He's so ugly, he's cute. As in many places of the world, Taiwan's largest known spider is the common golden orb web spider, or as it's known in Chinese, the face spider, because of the marks nestled into the fur on its back. Then there is the ogre face spider with a face like a skull, and the elephant spider which disguises itself as a leaf or blade of grass. The prettiest may be the egg spiders, Argiope etheroids, while the most deadly is the Taiwan widow. Its bite can kill. People killing spiders, though, are not common. Spider venom is typically most venomous against spider prey, but not so much against anthropods. Spider venom immediately incapacitates its prey, but on mammals and bony creatures, it's not so effective. It's the different nervous systems. Though spiders may look fearsome, most are terribly frightened of us, like this, the harmless and shy brown huntsman, which helps control cockroaches. She will protect her eggs, so she's a caring mother. At the same time, because she comes out at night to hunt, she eats cockroaches. So she's a really great home roach control. And of course, there is the most remarkable thing, spider silk, which imparts that special, eerie bounce. <laughs> ah, he dropped. Through the steady long legs, simply fasten its web and dropped gracefully to the ground. Not every spider has the ability. Web spinning is a higher stage of evolution. Some spiders do without and hunt with only their legs, teeth and instinct. This would be an orb web. It's highly resilient and sticky, so when insects fly into it, they have a hard time getting out. In this kind of web, only the outer ring, the spiral here, is the one that has the sticky stuff. The spokes here, they aren't sticky at all. Different spiders do weave different types of web, but all are universally resilient and strong. Some consider it a miracle of nature. It's very light, so if we are able to exploit it, we could use it for armored vests, for our military and police, stuff that would be very light. Because it's made of protein, medicine could find some uses for it, perhaps a dressing of some sort, like gauze. Spider silk doesn't come from the animal's mouth. The magic happens in its abdomen. And spiders don't all live in trees. This raft spider lives on rivers, hunting fish. It comes out at night, and at night the fish get closer to the bank. So when small fish swim close, he will drop down and snatch one up. Worldwide, there are 40,000 known varieties of spiders. They are nature's weavers, natural wizards of architecture, with mysteries to unlock with every new encounter. So the next time you see one, look past the hairy legs and beady eyes and discover the fascination of spiders.